chip box. Come on, get out of the chip box. Biscuits. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hi guys, it's Crystal, and today we're going to do some out-of-the-box hollow crazy zebra nails. This started as a reciprocal gradient and then went somewhere. So to start off with this mani, I'm using my base coat from Glisten and Glow. This is a regular sticky base coat. Most brands that make a top coat make one of these. This is just the only one I had on hand. So I'm using it. As I said, this idea started out as a reciprocal gradient, and then somewhere along the lines, I didn't do a reciprocal gradient. I, uh changed it up went a little wild for the base color I'm using Sundance from ILMP this is from their summer ultra holographic collection I actually got the whole collection and I was gonna do the swatch video for it this week but I haven't sat down and actually swatched them yet and yet here I am already using them in a tutorial this is kind of par for the course with me this happens every time I get a collection I like any of the colors in the bottle they end up going into tutorials to protect my cuticles, I'm using my Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss. I think this is the last bottle of it I have lying around. And then I have like a bunch of other liquid latexes I'm going to test out before I buy any more. For the dark green color in this gradient, I'm using Emerald from Damn Nail Polish and I'm combining it with Sundance. The way I did this was I put a smaller little section of the dark color. Because when I tested this out, I found if I made it like even half and half, somehow my dark polish was overpowering the lighter polishes. I don't know why. I think it's just the way I sponge. Because even with these vertical gradients, when I sponge it on the nail, I go up and down to kind of blend them in the middle. But I'll also go side to side just a little bit. Just to make sure it's all completely blended and that the edges are really done well. Each of my sponge on gradients here took two little dab dab dabby sessions. I don't know what the hell to call them. They're sponge sessions? I don't know. But in the first coat, it's like really great and you can see the dark green kind of coming through at the top. For some reason, the dark green was not coming through as well on the tip of the nail. And no matter how I did it, none of my nails were evenly perfect lines down the center. This is why I usually brush on vertical gradients. I peeled off my Simply Peel and then I took my number two cleanup brush from Twinkle Tea and did just a smidge of cleanup around the cuticles. I now have three of these brushes because I ordered another one. I actually use them for a lot of different stuff so they're kind of great for me. But here we go, some on camera cleanup. Look at that. I blocked the camera a bit because like I said, I'm not really good at cleanup yet, but I'm going to get there. I will. Once my gradient's all done, I'm using my Get Your Shine On High Shine Quick Dry Top Coat from Vapid Lacquer, and I'm covering it up to protect it. This is something you don't have to always do with linear hollows, but I do do it, and I will totally explain why later. Then I'm going in with some more Simply Peel to protect those cuticles for the second round. There's going to be more gradient goodness happening, so you know. I'm going to make a mess if I don't do this. For my vinyls, I'm using Zebra Stencil Vinyls from Twinkle Tea. This is literally the last one on the sheet, so I actually need to order more of these if I want to do any more zebra designs later, which I probably do. So I think I actually may have ordered some of these during their recent charity sale. So I think I'm okay, but I would have to check because I ordered a lot of different vinyls and brushes, and I'm not sure. For the gradient for the zebra stripes we're using kings and queens from ilmp which i think is one of their ultra holographics from way back i think 2016 summer and sidekick from ilmp which is one of this summer's ultra holographics they're both very beautiful purples kings and queens is more of a berry purple very dark very deep and sidekick is more of like an actual lavender i don't know if they have a linear holographic that's like a darker version of sidekick I looked through all my island piece to see if I could find one that was more the color of Sidekick but darker, and there wasn't one. So, 
I went with kings and queens because it looked really, really, really pretty. I'm going to do two layers of the dab session here. Once again, you know, all the dabbing, all the dabbing of all that hollow. I am trying to really get the edges when I'm dabbing it here because with these vinyls, some of them, no matter how well I, you push them down, the edges tend to come up around my nails because my nails curve really badly. It's terrible. So once I've got that done, I go under and I like to peel up my Simply Peel and then peel up my cuticle protector and my vinyl at the same time. And as you can see, I have a little bit of cleanup I have to do and some of the polish got under the edges of vinyl on one side because I kind of flooded that side. You couldn't see that on the camera, but in real life, I could see that. So I'm going to clean up around the edges with my, I think I'm using my number two, yeah, that's the number two cleanup brush. And I had some polish on my skin. And then where I flooded around the vinyl and there's just a little bit of this here, I'm going in and I'm just very, very, very gently brushing off that polish. And I'm able to do this because I put a layer of that top coat down. That top coat protects it and makes it to where I can brush off the top little bit of polish that is on there with my cleanup brush, but not ruin the gradient underneath and not thin out the polish color underneath where you see the nail. I use it anytime I do vinyls so that I always have this ability to clean them up later and not ruin underneath or have to completely redo the nail. Because who wants to have to redo it all? That sucks. Once that's done, You've got your beautiful design and you just need to go in with some more high shine, quick dry top coat goodness. Oh, this top coat really brings out the hollow. It's amazing. I've swapped over to using pretty much nothing but this top coat and I love it. And there you have it. You've got some crazy, funky, not normal zebra, zebra nails. I don't know what I did. I actually, I was going to do a green reciprocal gradient of zebra nails, and then somewhere along the way, I thought the green and the purple looked good sitting next to each other on the table, and that's how this happened. All the items used will be linked in the description box. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Sorry for my crummy voice. It's like really late at night, and for some reason, my voice is just not with me. As always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff and tutorials, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.